When I was first learning to meditate, the instruction was to simply pay attention to my breath, and when my mind wandered, to bring it back. The instruction was simple enough, but I was missing something really important. So why is it so hard to pay attention? It turns out that we're fighting one of the most evolutionarily conserved learning processes currently known in science. This reward-based learning process is called positive and negative reinforcement, and basically goes like this. We see some food that looks good. Calories, survival. We eat the food. We taste it. It tastes good. Our bodies send a signal to our brain that says, "Remember what you're eating and where you found it. See food, eat food, feel good, repeat. Trigger, behavior, reward." Well, after a while, our creative brains say, "You know, next time you feel bad, why don't you try eating something good so you'll feel better?" Same process. Just a different trigger. Maybe in our teenage years, and we see those rebel kids outside smoking. We think, "Hey, I want to be cool," so we start smoking. See cool, smoke to be cool, feel good. Now, with these same brain processes, we've gone from learning to survive to literally killing ourselves with these habits. In my lab, we studied whether mindfulness training could help people quit smoking. Now, with mindfulness training, we'd focused on being curious. What? Yeah, we said, "Go ahead and smoke." Just be really curious about what it's like when you do. And what did they notice? Oh,、well, here's an example from one of our smokers. She said, "Mindful smoking smells like stinky cheese and tastes like chemicals." What she discovered just by being curiously aware when she smoked was that smoking tastes like shit. She started to become disenchanted with her behavior. The prefrontal cortex understands that we shouldn't smoke. And it tries its hardest to help us change our behavior. Unfortunately, this is also the first part of our brain that goes offline when we get stressed out. Now, when the prefrontal cortex goes offline, we fall back into our old habits, which is why this disenchantment is so important. Seeing what we get from our habits helps us understand them in a deeper level. But over time, as we learn to see more and more clearly the results of our actions, we let go of old habits. And form new ones. Mindfulness is just about being really interested and in getting close and personal with what's actually happening in our bodies and minds from moment to moment. And this willingness to turn toward our experience is supported by curiosity, which is naturally rewarding. It feels good. We start to notice that cravings are simply made up of body sensations. Oh, there's tightness, there's tension, there's restlessness, and that these body sensations come and go. This might sound too simplistic to affect behavior, but in one study, we found that mindfulness training was twice as good as gold standard therapy at helping people quit smoking. So it actually works. So if you don't smoke or stress eat, maybe the next time you feel this urge to check your email when you're bored or you're trying to distract yourself from work, see if you can just be curiously aware of what's happening in your body and mind in that moment. Notice the urge, get curious, feel the joy of letting go, and repeat. Thank you.